Two years ago, Sean and I started a YouTube channel in which the first video was challenging each other to a game of beer pong, using recyclable materials that were fairly low cost. Two years later, we're here to complete the same challenge, effectively with different rules or no rules, with the only strict rule being your design must be an evolution of the previous one. So, behold. <laughs> Meet Ping V Where Thy Hurts, the Da Vinci inspired Shakespearean ping pong catapult capable of destruction to the level of Mount Vesuvius. Now, I have no idea what that means or what I just said, but all I know is I lost two years ago to Sean, and the demons still haunt me to this day. So I've spent countless hours designing 3D printing, mechanically optimizing, programming, wiring, and putting together the updated version of the less formal ping them where it hurts. And now the similarities between the two designs is that it's simply using a rotational flywheel to create force, which is translated to linear velocity onto the ball, causing that motion which gets it to the cup. The design relies on this tube to create rolling velocity fast enough for the ball to come down and then come up and get caught by these two DC motors here, which have these rubber attachments which then propel the ball. The launcher has two degrees of control, meaning that I can move it up and down and I can also move it left and right. Now this is done using a 1 to 6 gear ratio on these NEMA 17 step motors that I bought. Now I can control the step motors myself by moving this joystick up and down and also left and right. As you can see, there's one red button on there which initiates the launch, followed by six buttons which push the launcher into position relative to the cup. And so, although a lot of engineering and thought went into designing this, there was one fatal flaw I came across during. And that's simply that these flywheel type launchers aren't that great for accuracy. We can see them being used for dodgeball launchers, tennis ball launchers, playing ball with your dog, or simply building a toy gun. Now, all of those things have one trait in common complete power and speed, which is really cool, but it's not going to win me a beer pong game. And unfortunately, this had to evolve from my previous design, so I was constricted in what I could and couldn't do. And now even though the physics tells me that given a motor speed and an angle, I can get an exact shot at a distance and a height, it ignores some crucial factors, such as the vibration from the motors to the launcher, the surface friction, the uneven surface of the wheel, and also irregularities to the ball. To actually get this thing shooting accurately it would require a lot more modeling than this and that's simply just not worth it for a competition for beer pong. So we're going to exploit the fact that this can be used as a ping pong ball launcher instead. But putting ping pong to the side for a sec, I did think of a few solutions to help combat my accuracy problem. And to me, it was air time control, meaning trying to get the ball in the air for as long as possible to be able to effectively make sure it sinks into the cup rather than shooting towards the cup. Now there were a few ways I thought of doing this. The first one being have a longer tube run simply allowing the ball to slide down and build up more velocity and then effectively shoot as it's angled much higher. The second one was just simply cut this tube bit off and only have the launch a bit and have some sort of mechanical interface to get the ball going through so it's just directly pointing up. And now unfortunately I didn't go with either of these solutions. The first one because I simply needed much more 3D printed parts to get a longer tube run and it was just uneconomical to do that. The second one was a bit suspicious in I would be deviating a lot from my first design and I honestly feel like I'd be encroaching onto something like Sean had in that it was just a simple tube and a mechanical sort of launching mechanism. In the end, I landed on the exact same design except rather than two motors, I only used one motor for the beer pong match. So I could get some sort of upwards force on the ball even when the motor is sitting parallel and the launcher as well. So while I have low hopes about how this will perform in a game of beer pong, I am absolutely amazed at the amount of speed and power it can generate on the ball. And with that said, I'm going to go to my friend Paddy's house and challenge him to a game of Return the Comet, in which he'll be tasked in trying to return the ball as what I'm claiming is the impossible ping pong server. And now before you see the challenge with Paddy, please hit that like and subscribe button. Really helps us out to grind out more projects like this one here. You can't win. You can't win. What are you doing? I'm sick of this. You're up now. Come on. So 
after playing that a few times with Patty, we both agree that would be a very fun arcade game where if you could return the serve, you'd pin a prize. So now coming back to the beer pong competition, I'm actually very nervous to see what Sean has come up with, given his capability and how he took me out last time. He has some immense skill in coding, 3D printing, and problem solving as a whole, and has often taught me a lot about problem solving too, in which I've tried to develop and learn over the past two years of being an engineering founding father. And now with that said, please drop a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video which will be the competition.